Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Reverse 1999 on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Reverse 1999 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Reverse 1999. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type anything, simply because there's the link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. Once clicking on the link, we land here on the side of Bluestacks. No panic. It is just the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the game Reverse 1999 on PC. As you can see from here we access some advantages of preferring using the emulator. Then, we will proceed to download the Reverse 1999 by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the executable file, so we need to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We click yes. I minimize the internet browser to view the installation software considerably better. The installer is straightforward. It includes two possibilities. Install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path really does. We just click on it. So we note that we display here the path in which the emulator is going to be placed. If we need to modify this directory we need to click on this browse button. Therefore we pick another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we want. I prefer to leave it where it is. I click on back. So I simply click install. Voila. The setup commences and it is going to go forward together with the download of those MB that are presented on that screen. After you download it, it might possibly be a bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate can be faster or slower, depending on your type of access to the web and depending on the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Now they are running extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator happens to be launched on autopilot. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will fill up then when it gets to the end, the emulator is going to be launched for the very first time. The fact is the emulator has been launched, here for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you can see, it made two icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is the one we're considering. Anytime we desire to run Reverse 1999 on the PC, we twice click on this specific app icon and launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we conduct the next phase, that is a requirement, and this is to entry the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse here to System Apps, we click on and we will just click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is started. There we have got to log on. At this time once we are on this page, we must definitely accomplish the next phase which is obligatory. So that we simply click on, Sign In. At this moment it shows, Checking Info. It may occasionally get stopped at, Checking Info. Additionally it doesn't move ahead. If that's the case, you may try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may most likely be repaired. At this moment we're going to type in our email and password. The email has to be a Gmail email and its related password. For instance you make use of the exact same email you use at this moment in your YouTube account. Then I will type in my data and I will come back when I have accomplished it. That's it, info inserted. Below is Google welcoming us and presenting us the terms of service. We must agree to them by simply hitting, I agree. Following, it make us possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it selected and it'll produce a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the video game, we have to visit the emulator desktop for Android by clicking this app icon indicated green colored. 
Right now that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator for Android, we observe that we have now there the install app button. We just click on this button. There we have got the video game. How about we mouse click now on the install option that I am displaying now in green. And this will commence the setup. Straight away it is going to download on your PC and install the video game. It usually takes a little while or it may just be almost immediate. It all varies on the internet access. It has by then finished installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking on that option that I am presenting in green, if you want to start reverse 1999 for the very first time. I am already on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're going to simply click on the brand new reverse 1999 software icon that has been created. This game app is launched for the very first time. So there we have it, I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the sound level of that emulator. It is right here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we won't rely on the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we will activate the large monitor, for which we have two options. This is actually the very first one, we just click on this particular app icon which I am actually mentioning in green. And the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we would like to play the video game using all the screen, we click this particular app icon. And we might by now be experiencing the Android game in full screen mode. To stop the full screen mode, click the F11 key. And then we would probably just play in normal display screen setting. At present, I am choosing to explain you the computer keyboard mapping that is definitely extremely cool. This means we will certainly be in a position to play the video game a lot more easily. The first task is to press this software icon. It's now time to complete the required controls. I most certainly will keep the default configuration, but if you choose to modify this, you can easily do this without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is launched in the incorrect language, as an example, in Japanese. And therefore to place it in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. Then there throughout additional controls, we just click the language drop down. We may very well pick the language we like, Spanish, Chinese, and so on. When the language is decided, we would save, the emulator will restart, and the game, the next time we launch it, would also be in the chosen language. At present, you can find another point that we will need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get an email indicating that a brand new machine has been associated with this Google account. It definitely will check with us if we are the individuals who have associated with that device. That's right, we really should not get worried, simply because the emulator is emulating an Android device. In order to find which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, selection. And right here we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this video user demo. I sincerely hope you liked it, particularly that you found it handy. If that is so, offer it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and any feedback, requests or suggestions, put them in the comment box below. Just click any of these instructional videos which are usually showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and see you in the following instructional videos. Bye.